smoked beef recipe. This really is the most unctuous, delicious, smoky barbecue beef recipe ever. And although I'm actually showing it with some leftover vegetables, which I'm using up, it's great in tacos and with rice. You've got to give this one a go. In a heavy based pan, put in two tablespoons of olive oil, and then you want to add in around about 800 grams of chopped braising steak. Simply saute it in the pan. You want it browned all over, so this could take a few minutes. Don't worry about the pan because we're going to deglaze later on. Once it's browned, just remove that braising steak out and pop it into a bowl. Add in one tablespoon of olive oil again, and you want around about three onions. It depends on the size. Sometimes it's four, but I like plenty of onion. Again, you're going to actually sort of braise this down for a few minutes until the onions are translucent. Then I want three lovely chunky garlic cloves that have been crushed and a real good heaped tablespoon of smoked paprika that really gives that lovely smoky taste. Then you want to add in around about one to two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, along with half a bottle of red wine. Remember, if you want something to taste nice, the quality of the wine has to be nice. So just pop that in there and what you want to do is reduce that down for a few minutes until it's sort of reduced by around about half. Then add in a good teaspoon of salt. What you can do as well is just all those lovely sticky bits that you've got at the bottom is deglaze the pan and just sort of move it around and it should just come off fairly easy. A good grinding of pepper is always good. As you can see, it's reducing down nicely. So now we can add in the 400 grams of chopped tomatoes. Just stir and mix those in. Then you want to add in a good teaspoon or so of caster sugar. What this does is balances out the tartness of the tomatoes. Use that can for the tomatoes and just add in around about half a tin of water. Then you can pop that beef back in. Then you want to add in a bay leaf. Just tuck it in there. So now you're going to cover that and you're going to cook it for around about two hours. After two hours, you just take the lid off and then you cook it down gently again for around about another half an hour. Eventually, it's all reduced down. It's sticky, delicious and gorgeous. And of course, you can have it how you want. But I'm afraid in tacos is probably one of my favourites. Anyway, if you want the full written recipe, you know where to go. It's my website, cookingwithemily.co.uk.